Hi, I'm Maria Sun Yang, and today I am going to hopefully teach you how to do Halimau Makeup 101. I have Siege Tentenko as our model. So I'm starting off by concealing the places that needs to be concealed. Her dark circles, right under her eyes, and on her T-zone, so down the nose, on her forehead, around the mouth area, and down her chin. And now I'm carefully blending it, making sure to cover all the parts. So as you can see, right now we have a smoother surface we can apply the makeup on. I'm, and I'm now buffing it. I'm buffing the makeup with uh, a buffing brush, or you can also use a kabuki brush. So I'm now using water-activated white face paint. You can buy this in National Bookstore or any craft store. I actually used a wet brush in applying this, and then I buffed my foundation brush. And then now I am applying the white face paint in layers. It's very, very thick. The consistency is very smooth. It's so easy to apply um, the white face paint. That's why I highly recommend using water-activated face paint compared to cream-based. So I'm applying the whole thing in layers, making sure to wait uh, for each layer to dry before applying the next layer. By doing this, you eliminate the streaks and the water-activated face paint will adhere more. I'm also making sure to blend down her neck. I suggest also applying up until the ears. Right now, I am doing her eyebrows because the white face paint actually um, covered her eyebrows. So I'm measuring three points, the arc, the end of the eyebrows, and the start of the brows. So by doing this, I'm able to yeah, fill it in, fill in the eyebrows, but I'm making sure to use a heavy hand so that the eyebrows will really stand out behind the white face paint. So after drawing them in the eyebrows, I'm using brown eyeshadow just to create the eye bags. I actually apply the brown eyeshadow mixed with water so that will create um, sort of like a creamy base. And then after that, I'm using my hands, just my fingers, to apply the brown eyeshadow directly on top of that creamy base we did. So this will eliminate all fallouts. So don't worry if you're applying it very haphazardly because we'll be blending it later on. So before blending it out, I am now applying the same brow, brown eyeshadow on her forehead, on her cheekbones, and under her jawline to define the face and at the same time make her cheeks look sunken. So, and now I'm blending the eyes. So as you can see, it's fine to apply the eyeshadow, not as perfectly because we have to blend everything eventually. So I'm also trying to contour her nose, so I'm applying it around her nose, and then making sure to blend in. The next thing I'm doing is lining her eyes. You can line either the waterline or you can line the lower lash line. I'm actually just rimming her whole eye with the eyeliner. What I did was I apply the liner at the back of my hand, or you can apply it at a makeup palette, and then I use separate brush to apply the whole eyeliner so that it's easier. So I'm applying it around and then now I'm drawing in the eye bags. So you want to tilt the head down and then just retrace the eye bags. You can draw them in eventually. Yeah, I'm tilting her head to locate where I could put the eye bags and then just drawing them in. Again, I'm trying to blend as much black into it. And then I mix a little bit of the black eyeliner with the brown eyeshadow to create a muddy gray color. And then I'm applying that slightly on her eyes to make her eyes slightly darker. And I'm also trying to contour again. The last thing we want to do is to apply really, really dark ruby lipstick. So I'm applying that to her lips. It doesn't have to be perfect because you'll be drawing in the blood afterwards. I'm using my fingers to kind of blend the lipstick. So make sure to use lipstick that's very, very soft. As you can see, the lipstick that we're using right now is really soft and easy to blend. That way, it'll be easier to draw in the blood. The next thing I'm doing is I'm running my brush against her hair. I'm kind of teasing to make her look zombie-like. Yeah, and that's about it. And now we are in the nose. We're in a hypothermic. Wow. You are in the nose.